Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Brett and I'm Millimeter USA here. And today we've got a new safe to show you. This is going to be our new Sherlock security safe. It is the Kernel 35. And that's the safe we're going to be using for the next 12 to 15 months as we go into 2021 here. It came from FedEx on a special delivery. And as you can tell, it's all very protectively wrapped in plastic and cardboard. So basically, this is just an unboxing type video. We're going to cut all the protective wrapper away that you see holding it all together. And we're going to show you what the safe really looks like. Let's do that next. I've got my trusty Spyderco knife here. One more important thing to mention here is that Sherlock Security Safes has come out with a Gen 2 on all their safes. And this is a Gen 2 model. So if you go and look at their website and stuff, you may see some Gen 1 stuff and some Gen 2 stuff. This is a Gen 2. So this is the new model that's coming out right now as of, what are we, September 2020. So this one just was dropped here in the States and we got one of the first ones. So that's what's happening. We're moving into a Gen 2 with Sherlock Security and we'll be showing the safe a lot. I'm gonna go ahead and cut off all the protective stuff now with my trusty spider coat. So this new kernel, it even says on the outside of the uh, cardboard here, it has a 75 minute fire rating. So that's really cool. The steel bolts are all one and a half inch and it has a door panel on it, which is very nice. We love the door panels. just sharpened this knife so it's pretty sharp. You could probably just rip at it now. That's what I did on the previous one. Yeah, started and ripped it. I don't want to cut it accidentally. This knife is really sharp. Pretty good. Wow, it's really wrapped up good. It's got this protective foam. So that's kind of what it looks like. So this is in place to protect the lock and the turning mechanism here. Everything else is going to be inside the safe. So we're going to go ahead and take off the rest of this wrapping and everything and then we'll turn the cameras back on and give you another look at it. You can tell it's different by all the markings and stuff that's on the safe itself. But uh, let's go ahead and clean this up so we can get a better look. We'll see you in a minute. I'm a little more aggressive at unwrapping stuff. All right, so let me get the rest of this off without hurting myself or anybody else.
All right, guys, we're back. You can see we've got all the wrapping off the safe now, so let's go ahead and try to get a look inside. The factory setting is usually one, two, three, four, five, six. Correct, young brother? Yep. So let's try that. We're in. Wow. Really good quality on the inside, just like the last one. So right there, you guys can see the fire rating on the safe at 75 minutes at 1400 degrees. It is made out of this safe, 11 gauge steel, and it's got a lifetime warranty on it. So when we get inside the Colonel 35, we've got this little box here, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be the handles and they're individually wrapped so you take them out of these protective wrappers and then go ahead and put them inside your mechanism right here so yeah wonderful so we'll put those on one is protectively wrapped so as long as you're putting them in just make sure you don't drop them a lot of the safes don't even offer a very cool spoke handle anymore it's pretty amazing how some of the safes have really cheaped out some of the safe companies have cheaped out with not giving you very much to the consumer Nice. Yeah, it's a good looking uh, chrome five spoke handle for, for sure. sure. Yeah, that's for sure. And Young Beretta knows I've been looking at a bunch of different safes again because we weren't sure exactly what we were going to do next. And uh, these guys just give you more for your money. So. so there it is. That's how it looks when it's done. So we'll go ahead and move it a little bit and give you another look at it in just a second. Wow, and it's very fluid, dude. That's nice. All right, you ready to move it? Yep. All right, guys, so it seems to have gone through all of its shipping and everything with no damage whatsoever. I don't spot anything that's wrong with it at all, which is good. That's a huge plus. I love the new handle. This is definitely a more substantial handle than the smaller Sherlock security safe, so just in case you're wondering, it's probably one of the slight changes they made on the Gen 2. Yeah, and if you like the looks of this handle, you're going to have to go with the Gen 2 Kernel 35. So keep that in mind. Uh, one more time inside on the basic unwrapping of the safe. This thing is so smooth. I cannot believe how smooth the gears are with turning that handle. So we don't have any light or anything like that in here yet. So, but they've already set up the major... Um, shelving in here all these are you can change them these are metal so to hold your um, shelves in place you've got metal brackets so that's always good and it looks like it is it's already set up for some type of lighting so it's got your uh, electrical uh, cord uh, it's already set up as far as everything else uh, it's also motion activated lighting if I remember right yeah it looks like some type of motion de a detector down there so Definitely has that, and it does have an electrical cord in there. Uh, there is a, an electrical hookup up here already. Oh, and this is plugged in, so that's that should be for the lights. I would think. It's not plugged in right now. Do you see lights on the corners, like on the edge? Yeah, around okay. the edges. There's lights. It's the it's the strip stuff. Yeah. LEDs, strip LEDs. Okay. So yeah, so it's already hooked up and ready from the factory. It looks like. 
So anyway, if you wanted to turn part of this into a rifle side or whatever, you could make this a rifle side and this a pistol side over here. It's deep, but it's not, you know, huge. It's not too deep. So, and again, that's what keeps the weight down to 12, 1300 pound level in this particular safe. Yeah. So that's one more thing to keep in mind. You've got four way bolt work, three uh, bolts up top, three on the bottom and five or six on each side. Purpose here. Yep. One, two, three, four, five on this side. And five on the interior, yeah. Yep, and five so in there. Do we total of 16 bolts. Oh. And we got three on the bottom. Yeah. Three on the bottom too. So it is bolted all the way around. And these are not the skinny small bolts. Guys, these are pretty substantial bolts. And then the fire rating for 75 minutes. So in most cases, you'd be good to go with that type of fire rating. Um, inside, of course, want to talk about, just hit on real quick, the door panel. Um, the door panel in the last safe from Sherlock Security was excellent. So I'm expecting the same thing with this one. Again, these are all sewn into place, so they can hold some substantial weight from like loaded firearms. If you wanted to have a loaded mag in your firearm, you could easily get away with that if you wanted to do that. Um, one, two, three, four, it's eight of them. And then down here, a couple of um, just mesh pockets. Don't know what you'd use those for. You've also got some magazine placements on the side of a uh, Sherlock security oh, right car. Here. Yeah. Yeah, fantastic. So you can put three on each side at least. And then a couple of cool pockets down here. The bottom two are cool pockets. They're foil lined. So. Okay, this one is not. Yeah, 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 you're right. These two down here are foil lined for heat. So if you had some important documents, you know, like birth certificates, um, passports, stuff like that. You'd want to put those down below. So remember, lock up your valuables. If you wear a bunch of nice watches, you know, even if you like to trade them out like I do, it's a good idea to have some of them protected in a safe and then you can switch them out every once in a while along with your um, expensive jewelry if you own that stuff. But mostly for me and for young Beretta, it's gonna be for guns. So we're going to be using it to store all the new stuff that we're going to be testing. We'll be pulling some of that new stuff out of the safes and giving you guys updates on the safe as we go along. All right, thanks for watching the unboxing video on the new Sherlock Security Colonel 35. We'll see you guys on the next video.